Now to very personal revelation from the Facts of Life star Mindy Cohn in this week's People magazine. She shares that she's battled breast cancer since 2012. Eva Pilgrim has an exclusive first look. The Facts of Life, the Facts of Life. For nine seasons, she took the good with the bad, playing the beloved Natalie on the Facts of Life. Now I know why God invented vacations. So my family could drive across country and I could meet boys. <laughs> now, Mindy Cohn is revealing her greatest struggle to date, one she has kept private for five years, her battle against breast cancer. The 51-year-old telling People magazine that it was close friend and fellow actress Helen Hunt who first took her to the doctor, saying, I've always been an optimist, but the cancer metastasized. It kept spreading and coming back. I kept waiting for the other shoe to drop, and it would. At first, she didn't really know how bad things would get. Went through chemotherapy and radiation, and she began to realize how big of a deal this was. Cohn originally opted to do a lumpectomy, but by 2015, the cancer had spread to her lymph nodes, forcing Cohn to make the ultimate decision to undergo a radical double mastectomy. Taking a year off from work, she says, I just dropped off the face of the earth. I needed to be away and get better. Cohn, who is single, says it was hard to go through it alone, but it was bad enough to put my parents through this. I'm glad I didn't put a partner through it, too. At first, she saw strength in keeping her battle with breast cancer a secret, but now she's come to find that the real strength comes in sharing her story and knowing that she can rely on her friends. And there was Kim Fields, her Facts of Life co-star, who showed up at her door, she says, in New York to say, how can I help? She is now in remission and jokes that she's looking for a husband and back to work. She says, I'm healthy and I'm able to get back to doing what I love. There's a light at the end of the tunnel and it's not an incoming train. Our thanks to Eva and thanks to People Magazine for bringing us this story. It hits newsstands on Friday and our senior medical contributor, Dr. Jennifer Ashton, joins us now. We know there are all different types of breast cancer, right. not one size fits all. This is a type that spreads medically. How is it different? Well, I'm glad we're talking about yeah. it. It's called metastatic breast cancer and this occurs to about 20% of people, men and women, who are mm -hmm. diagnosed with breast cancer. When you're talking about any type of metastatic cancer, it means it's spread outside the primary site. When you're talking about breast cancer, it normally spreads to brain, bone, liver, lung. This type of treatment, is, this type of cancer is not treatable. I mean, it's treatable, but it's not yeah. curable. And so the goals are different. But these people are often feel underheard because we talk a lot about cure, which is great, but there are a lot of people suffering and still dying from Every time we cancer. do a segment on breast cancer and we don't talk about this, I hear from people yes, who have it and they're I right. That, yeah, and it, it is something that's underreported. But what, one thing that is the same, no matter what type of cancer, your caregiver. Right. Mindy, she talked about how She parents. talked about it. I'm so glad she did. Yeah. That is such a critical part of caring for anyone with cancer. And if you think of the analogy of dropping a stone in a lake and the ripple effect, mm -hmm. if the stone is the diagnosis, the ripple effect is how the cancer diagnosis impacts the person, their family, their friends, their co-workers, and all of those ripples need care to optimally support yeah. the patient. We know, unfortunately, there is not a cure, but are right. there new treatments for this type? Of Th that's cancer? the good news. There are more yeah. options for treatment than ever and again it's not about a cure but it's about managing the symptoms so you're talking about chemotherapy surgery to treat the symptoms so for example lung fluid builds up you treat that biologic therapy hormonal therapy again it's an exciting time in cancer care but people are still dying of yeah. this disease. Yeah and her dear friend Kim Fields is here in our next I half know. hour. We're going to talk to her a little bit more about that in her it's, movie as it's well. It's great we're yeah. talking okay. about that. Thank you Jen. Well hey there GMA fans Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here so go on click the subscribe button right over right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day anytime we thank you for watching and we'll see you in the morning on GMA